Hello fans of Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi, my name is Nick Paul and this is my spoiler filled review of that film. Now if you have not seen The Last Jedi yet, I highly suggest you uh, go check out my spoiler free review on this channel. It is at the end of this video and it will also obviously be on this channel somewhere so go check that out if you have not seen the film yet and if you do not want spoilers because this will be a spoiler filled yeah. because this will be a spoiler filled video and I don't want to do that to you if you don't want it. The first thing I really want to talk about is the Ray and Kylo Ren relationship because this is something that we kind of saw begin to be established in Force Awakens. We see that they do have this this Force connection of sorts to them in uh, uh, Force Awakens. Kylo Ren is able to sense her and I think that she was able to sense him if I was remembering right but they weren't able to communicate or anything. They could just sense that the other person was aware or was around. In Last Jedi, this is elevated to a point which we have not really seen before in regards to the fact that they are able to see each other and communicate. We don't really see what they are seeing, but we know that it is through the Force and they are basically able to communicate with each other via that. And it's really interesting that they seem to have this really strong Force connection to each other and as far as we know, they're not related whatsoever and have no real connection outside of that. And this obviously leads into the big confrontation with Rey, Kylo Ren, and Snoke, uh, where Kylo Ren brings Rey over to Snoke and tries to turn her to the dark side, essentially. She is very, very resistant to it, and so Snoke commands Kylo Ren to cut her down. He ends up cutting down Snoke instead, and they fight off the uh, Imperial Guards and then... Uh, turn on each other eventually. But the fact that uh, Kylo Ren chose to take down Snoke instead of Rey, I think that that shows that they do have some sort of connection and that their conversations which happened uh, during the first part of the film, they did mean something. Um, and I think that they did have some sort of effect on him because I'm sure I'm not the only one who thought when uh, Kylo Ren took down Snoke that he turned good, apparently. Um, but he really just did it for his own ambitions. I am curious to see where that relationship continues to go as we go into episode 9 and see if they have more of a connection, see and what ends up ultimately befalling these two characters. Uh, I have my own suspicions, but I won't get into them here. That's definitely a relationship that I'm really curious to see how it plays out in the final film. I also mentioned in my uh, spoiler free review that I was very, very bored with most of the resistance aspects, and let's talk about that for a little bit. The only person that I really was really interested in throughout the course of that whole aspect was Leia, because we know, like I said, Carrie Fisher has unfortunately passed away, and so I was curious to see how they were going to deal with her character. Were they going to kill her off? Were they going to just have her pass away peacefully somehow? They could have done either of those things when they had capabilities of doing either of those things in during two instances. But Leia is probably the most interesting character in the Resistance for me just because she, uh, upon floating out into space, somehow is able to connect to the Force and force her way back into the ship and uh, force open a door during Poe's rebellion and uh, it's just a lot of things which make her character interesting and stand out. Now, now I'm guessing going into episode 9 we're going to have some time pass and she's probably just going to pass away between those two films because obviously she's not around anymore so she can't really film any other scenes for that film unless they're going to use deleted things or things of that sort or use another god forbid CGI image. <laughs> I don't think they would do that. I think they'll just have her pass away between the two films. But outside of that, the Finn stuff uh, with um, Rose and uh, going to the gambling city and all that. It wasn't really that interesting for me personally, uh, along with all Poe stuff, because aside from the first firefight that he has, which is really, really fun to see, uh, he doesn't really do a lot throughout the course of the film. He just kind of stalls and gets shot down a lot and then ends up putting up a, f a rebellion which ends up not doing anything. And what really bugged me about the resistance in this film is that they just get their asses handed to them repeatedly by the Empire and a lot of the film is them just kind of stalling and running away from the big ship which is going to destroy them. But I would have liked to just see them do more because there was just a lot of them just sitting on their asses waiting to get blown up. And even towards the end when they have the, the escape pod cruiser things going to the planet down below where the final um scenes of the film take place. It seemed like the rebellion was basically going to end there. They're all going to get blown up and it's like, okay, that's that's the rebellion. It's done. That would have been really interesting of a move to do to take down the rebellion and have a definitive winner uh, of the First Order 
in this film, and then obviously have Ray, some Ray and Kyle Ren maybe, uh, take you down from within in the ninth film to some degree. I don't know how that would work, but it would have made it a little bit more interesting because it would have shown that the film was taking risks. I also felt like the Finn story was really just putting him in a position to, t to basically kill off Captain Phasma. She's in maybe two scenes throughout the course of the film. It's really unfortunate because it's a really good actress playing the part. Um, and so to see her just get taken out, fall into a fiery inferno and be done, it's really unfortunate because it would have been curious to see what her character could have done in the ninth film, assuming that she is dead. The last big gripe which I had uh, with this film, which I didn't talk about in the spoiler free review because I didn't want to touch on it there um, is the fact that there's no lightsaber battles in this film whatsoever. You can argue that there's a duel between Kylo Ren and Luke um, at the very end but you never see lightsabers clash. It's really just Luke's force ghost essentially uh, dodging Kylo Ren's strikes until he decides to just let himself get cut down. And it's like that's just basically going off of A New Hope with Obi-Wan you know, taking down my Vader and it just I don't know, I saw it coming to an extent. But even between Rey and Kylo Ren, they never clash lightsabers. They basically just fight over over Anakin's, essentially, uh, and get it torn apart. And they never go toe-to-toe -to -toe between each other. There's no lightsaber fights in this film. And maybe it's just because I'm a product of the prequels, that's what I grew up with. Those are the first three films that I saw in Star Wars. But... I like seeing lightsaber fights happen because those are the most exciting and entertaining parts of the film because that's where the big scenes usually take place and happen and uh, while it took a while <laughs> and for so I can start to happen we did get a lightsaber fight in that film despite it being just one. This one we had nothing and it was really disappointing and that's just something which I really would have liked to see. We see Rey training on the island for a good chunk of the film with a lightsaber, learning about the Force. I would have liked to see her use those skills, aside from just like her battle side by side with Kylo Ren. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the spoilery parts of uh, Last Jedi. Those are the main aspects and points which I wanted to hit on. If you want my thoughts on any other aspects, feel free to comment down below. Or if you want to comment on my comments, feel free to comment down below as well. As always, many people like, your comment, and subscribe if you so choose. I appreciate it immensely. And once again, my name is Nick Powell. And as always, may the Force be with you. Until episode 9.